How's it going Captains? I hope you guys are doing well man. Now in this video I wanted to gather all of the information that we know regarding the Boeing 797 into one place and discuss its feasibility and its specifications. But before we begin, it should be noted that most of this information is speculative because Boeing hasn't released any hardcore information regarding the program. So take it with a pinch of salt until actual information is released. Now last year at the 2017 Paris Air Show, Boeing talked about some of the design details for the 797, saying that the new plane will follow in the footsteps of the 787 Dreamliner in terms of composite sections and engines. Now most of the aviation community refers to the plane as the 797, but for now, Boeing hasn't given it a name. Instead, they're just referring to it as the new mid-sized plane. The NMA will most likely be a twin aisle, with a capacity for around 220 and 270 passengers. It will also have a range of 5,200 miles, which is what the airlines have been requesting, for transatlantic missions and for capabilities of flights to New York to Moscow, for example. The new plane is set to fill the gap between the 737 MAX and the 787 Dreamliner. Now Boeing has stated that designing the new NMA will occur later on this year and that they will build the main components of the plane in 2021, assembly in 2023 and the first flight is scheduled to be around 2024. There's such a big hype around this plane that Boeing has got many airlines interested and they're expecting at least 4,000 aircraft to be built which is actually mind-boggling. The plane will most definitely be built from composite materials like the 737 MAX, the 787 and the new 777X. But this will require Boeing to increase their production of their carbon fibre composites and perhaps even build a new factory specifically for the NMA to meet demand. Now Boeing has often referred to the NMA as a hybrid cross-section. When I first heard about this, I wasn't quite sure what it actually meant. But after doing a bit of digging, I found out that it refers to a fuselage with elements of both a narrow body and a wide body plane, rather than a hybrid, meaning it would use both composite and metallic materials. Now in terms of engines, Boeing is very interested in geared turbofan engines, which is used on the A320neo family. And what that essentially is, is that the engines will achieve greater efficiency by placing a gearbox between the fan and the turbine assembly, so that they can rotate at different velocities. This will allow the engines to be more versatile and give bigger optimization of engine speed during different parts of the flight. Now Pratt & Whitney and Rolls-Royce have both expressed their interest in powering the new Boeing plane. Pratt & Whitney is researching the possibility of upgrading the 1000G, while Rolls-Royce is pushing their new gear turbofan engine which is currently in development known as the Ultra Fan. Although they don't make gear turbofan engines, CFM and GE are also being considered to power the plane. Although CFM hasn't announced anything yet, there are hints that the company is currently in discussions with Boeing to build a new geared turbofan engine. Now Boeing has also announced that it's currently studying AI systems that could eventually be used to complement the autopilot and build a self-flying plane. But that's many years away. We'll most likely see the first flight of the 797 before a plane without a captain. So there you go my fellow friends, a bit of information regarding the potential 797 program if that's what it will be called. If you have anything further to add, then please share it with us. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a bit.